Your breath stinks. <laughs> I just stared at her for several minutes. I was like, oh my gosh, you are a real dog. <laughs> hey. I had never thought of owning a chihuahua before. I was like, let's give it a go. <laughs> I'm Casey, and this is Tina's story for GOD. What is when you're doing this? <laughs> I think if Tina and I could both have our way, we would just spend every waking minute of the day together. <laughs> He's just so happy all the time. Tina! <laughs> I can be gone for 30 seconds, come back, and she's flying all over the room because she's so happy to see me. <laughs> She's not a dog who's big on playing with toys, zoomies, and chase is what she's all about. Oh. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> More. I'm laying on the couch and I get a text from my friend Beth and she was like, hey, some friends of mine, they just lost their mom, Carol, and Carol had a chihuahua named Lil Bit, and I know that you just lost your dog. Would you be willing to take her in? And I was like, oh, it's only been a couple of weeks. I felt kind of guilty for even considering taking in another dog so soon, but I was like, I'll give it a try. <laughs> we'll have to see if she gets along with the German Shepherd in the lab. We meet up halfway because we live in different cities. When I got to the back of the car, laying in this little bitty bed, she had her paws crossed and she just squinted at me and judged me harder than I've ever been judged in my life. <laughs> and I was just blown away. I'd never felt so judged. Her head was probably the size of a kiwi, maybe smaller. I was just like, this is the smallest creature I've ever seen in my life. We loaded her up and she stayed in my arms the entire drive back home. There's a happy tail. <laughs> we were inseparable and she chose me as her person. Tina! <laughs> But I was still definitely grieving losing BB. And so I had read that one of the best ways to get past it, feeling that guilt of taking in a new dog after losing another one is to tell your new dog about your old dog. I kept a picture of Beebs on my dash. So we got in the Jeep and rode around and I told her everything that I loved about BB and missed about BB. Do you like your car seat? And it was the most therapeutic thing that I did for myself during my grief and my loss of Beebs. So obviously we ended up keeping her. It's been a little over three years now. Tina! <laughs> All this dog wants to do is be held and loved and go everywhere with me. <laughs> Are we going for a ride? <laughs> and she could eat from the time she wakes up until the time she goes to bed. What do you have hanging out the side of your mouth? <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> I don't think there's a day that goes by that I don't laugh like a minimum of 15 to 20 times just at her various antics and her personality. I'm actually a singer-songwriter and she's come to a few gigs with me and she'll just like lay on my lap while I sing and play, which is pretty special because we used to do the same thing. <laughs> Was the weather bad? Oh God, that's terrible. We're attached, not at the hip, because she's too small, but she's in my arm at all times. I love my wife dearly, but there are times when she's like, hey, can we like go somewhere, just the two of us? And I'm like, yeah, of course. I can put Tina down for a little while. So bless her for being married to me and tolerating my bond with my dog. <laughs> I could go on and on and on about her little quirks. She scratches with her front paw like a human. I've never seen another dog do this. 
she goes very long periods of time without blinking. She'll just air you down and then she'll just sneeze on you. <laughs> we met at a time when we both experienced a huge loss. Um, and I know it was probably a very confusing time for her. But she trusted me almost instantly, and I really thank her for that. I'm also grateful to her family for me, for them trusting me to take her in and take care of her. She's nine now. I wish that time would just slow down so I could love her for longer. Tina!